TNGM The Show presents... Talking Nerdy, March 2024. You saw Kung Fu Panda 4, so we're going to go into that. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador, and our guest, special guest. Oh, Marvin Goof here. Marvin Goof, yes, who did a Dune 2. He did our Dune 2 review, Dune Part 2 review to be more specific. And so we are here to talk nerdy to you. We've been doing this, what, like almost 13 years now? Yeah. Right? Crazy. So we are here to waste our time so you don't have to, right? Like we're going to watch everything good or bad that's nerdy, you know, try to play as many things, do as many things, so you don't waste your time. You can save it for the best of the best, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. So that's what we're here to deliver on. Kung Fu Panda, I want to hear about it. I wanted to take my kids to go see it. There's been a lot going on. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe I can take them next week. We'll see. So, yeah, tell me about it. So, yeah, Kung Fu Panda. I actually saw it, and, you know, it is absolutely what you would want out of a movie like that. It's still very, you know, very kid-friendly. You still see Poe sort of change. They have a good story with it, you know. They, I mean, I don't know. Can I, can I spoil some parts? Like, do you mean Sure. To? Because really, it's about the idea of succession. But we are talking kings and successions. <laughs> Even you can't be caught unawares. Right? Poe is at the point where he has been the dragon warrior for so long. He's told you have to find your ne you have to find the next dragon warrior. You need, you need to find who's succeeding you. And he goes, "What? Like this is all I've been for so long." You know, I, I, it's one of the things that I think I especially like when I heard and saw him do that. I was like, high school band. I was a band kid. Mm. That was all I did for so long. Which of the big wicked couplets did it? Who of the crew would commit this crime? My little rat make a body go splat. It's a story pretty gory for a nursery rhyme. Which of the big wicked couplets did it? Which of the spawn had the brawn to kill Willa Baby? And when, uh... When you're told you have to find something else to do, it's like, uh, you know, there's the fear of that. So it's his exploration of being able to settle with that. And I think it actually turned out pretty well. A lot of people would say the way that some of the story was presented might have been weaker. The Furious Five, for example, don't really make an appearance until the end of the movie. Like, a lot of people like those characters, so that it's really just about Poe and this one other character he journeys with a lot. Okay. So the the story, I think, is a good one to tell. So they picked a good one for it. Uh, and then there's the soundtrack. There's the whole thing. You know, if you, if you haven't heard Jack Black perform Hit Me Baby one more time, you need to fix that. Because <laughs> uh, that was absolutely uh, one of the things that was the, one of the best things I've heard in a long time. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, and and it's funny because my daughter has been so obsessed with Britney Spears lately, and I'm like, we gotta show her the Jack Black versions now because they're they're so great. But yeah, that's great because I didn't hear that much about it. I feel like I don't know if the promotion there wasn't that much or, or what's going on. I don't know if there's still fallout too of like the strikes, like so they didn't preemptively you know like work on the advertising for these things, you know. I don't know, but I don't feel like it was very, it wasn't promoted very well because I was like, what is even the story of this one? So it's good to find out it's about succession. That's really, that's really interesting. Cool, awesome. So, and what, what score would you give that? I would definitely say if you're a fan of Kung Fu Panda, it's a must go, but um, if you're not able to afford it, you could probably wait until you watch it on, uh, watch it on video, but... I'm a big fan of Kung Fu Panda, so yeah. I had to go yeah, see same. it. Yeah, same. Jack Black. Love that guy. It's Jack Black. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Cool. So that's that. And that being said, like I said, we talked about some of our merch already of the stuff we're going to be making for you all for next month. I'm sporting our Dragon Ball style shirt talk nerdy to me because, of course, um, if you've heard Akira Toriyama passed away, which is such an, uh, such an icon, such a legend... Is of course Dragon Ball, but he also did like Chrono Trigger, and then he did Dragon Quest games. Yes, yeah, so he he's just like it's so crazy when people go. All he did 
was put pen to paper and how much, right, like drawing and writing and how much people did he affect. There is a generation of nerds because there's nerds used to be basement dwellers, you know, attic dwellers maybe. Now look what they are. They're the gun show, right? Like, yes. and, and I'm not even one of the big ones. Like, there's dudes that legitimately look like Broly mm -hmm. because of Dragon Ball Z. There's dudes that look like Goku. Like, there's a generation, and then, like, even like you said, the other stuff, like, that he's done, it's just crazy how he's changed, you know, how, how I he's changed, obviously, even uh, America, the America's Western civilization, because I know that Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z is massive in South America even, right? Because yep, they indeed. came, they were there before they, they were in, in the States. So, like, they're, they're huge. It's huge everywhere. And it's so crazy, the influence of the guy just made drawings and, and wrote some stuff. And that's it. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Indeed. So, if you want to do it, do it. Be inspired by that. And make, let's create. Let's make those stories, right? Absolutely. And inspire awesome. people to work out, to do more, to grow, to be better. So, yeah. And then I also got uh, my Azul Beetle pants that I designed. I don't even know if I have these in the store, but I just loved the Blue Beetle movie so much. It spoke to me. I know it didn't speak to everybody. It wasn't really necessarily meant to speak to everybody. I mean, hopefully it, it does to us and then to a certain degree, but I, I thought it was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best things, if not the best thing, that DC's put out in a long time. So, especially if you're not, like, into superhero stuff, I, I think, like, you won't notice a lot of the things, I won't say ripped off, but definitely, you know, we're taking notes from, like, Iron Man, and, and I mean, there's so much, right? There's so much now. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Well, I, I mean, that pretty, pretty much sums it up for me. There's a lot of good stuff coming out, you know, so... But you got the out. Halo. I did get the Halo shirt right here, so, you know... And we're going to have to hook, we're gonna have to hook him up with the Star Trek, oh, you know? Oh, yes, absolutely. We'll, we'll get that Star Trek merch yeah. out there. We don't have much now, but like I said, we'll start pumping it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yeah, so for sure. We'll, uh, we'll no, that. they might just all forget about Star Trek, like how everyone conveniently forgot about Michael and Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest thing oh, I've no. ever seen in my life. <laughs> it, basically, Michael Burnham, the main character, when they go into the future, they're like, okay, well, we're all going to forget about this character. Just all interesting that was really, things. like, literally what they said. It was bad. Oh, man. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I love uh, I, I love the main chick though. Oh my gosh. She was also wasn't she also in Walking Dead? Maybe. Yeah, she Maybe. was in Walking Dead. Um but I mean I, I love the first season. I absolutely love the first season of Star Trek uh Discovery. So and I know there's other stuff that's been really good I've heard of Star Trek that's that's out there. What's what's the other one that they have besides Discovery? Uh, I know there's Picard, obviously, which I've yes. heard both good and bad uh, things, but Beyond mostly has been good. Pretty Brave solid. New, Beyond, yes, Beyond. Brave is New the World other is out there, but Brave New Worlds is out there somewhere too. I think, uh, I think, no, yeah, not um, Beyond um, Stranger Worlds. Stranger Worlds. That's yeah, the one that's I've the one. heard a lot of good things about. That one's been kind of good. Even Lower Decks. Uh, happens before uh, Kirk takes over the Enterprise, and so it's. Uh, Focused on Pike's uh, turn as captain. Okay, sweet. So, and then you're rocking the uh, talk nerdy to me Star Wars shirt. Yes, and and this is like our so this is like our first one of our first shirts, right? Like our stuff's gotten way better. Like we've added like light swords. Are we? You know, <laughs> beam swords. Beam swords. You know, <laughs> but yeah, like there's some legit stuff. Like we have like. You know, the double one, the, 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 the white ones. Like, we have so many different designs that Slay J designed that are just phenomenal. And I, and I feel like I need to get those ones because they're so great. Yes. But, yeah, there's there's so much stuff. So And what's great, too, is so every month we donate 5% of our profit to charity. So help us help them by buying our merch. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for March, it's uh, Center for Reproductive Rights. Um, last month it was Noble. I forget. I know that for April we're going to do Autism Speaks. Mm. So I've done my research. That's what we're going to cover. That's going to be charity that we're going to be donating to. So please help us so that we can give, get, help them out, right? We want to we wanna make a positive influence on our society, 
on our world, Absolutely, you know? Absolutely, yes. And that being said, I want to give shout outs because the, the people that have po uh, positively helped us as well. Of course, at the top of that list and always at the top of that list, we have to give out a shout out to our best bud Atticus who just continues to grow and get better and do more interesting things on his YouTube channel mm -hmm. as a YouTuber in Vietnam, as a teacher in Vietnam, and just showing us, you know, slice of life, you know, anything, any really anything goes. Like, I mean, now he's covering, he's he did, he's done a deep dive of, of Dune on his, so he, he has nerdy stuff too. Like, we've inspired him to, to do some nerdy stuff on his channel so definitely check him out he's one of the greatest uh we have burn attention this the superpower list check them out on facebook and definitely on x we also added uh there's gone gold podcast po boy pod billy d's gmart 8 pesky gremlins they retweet us a lot so they're awesome cinematic anarchy filmmaker pod uh, mk jekyll and hyde they're uh they're across the board they do uh, on oh, online web comics and stuff, nice, and and I just yeah. love I just love the message that they send. Like they're everything that they say is so inspirational. Mm -hmm. So definitely check them out. The Film Rage guys, those guys, they they review every single movie, good or bad, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. They waste their time, mm -hmm. so you don't mm -hmm. have to. Mm -hmm. It's and some stuff is surprising. You'll be surprised. Like some stuff, you're like, oh, I thought that was going to be garbage. They give just enough to where it doesn't feel like completely spoiled, but they'll spoil if they're like, we're going to spoil so that you don't waste your time because you shouldn't. Like we have to spoil it so that you, you know, do that. So they're great. Web Imagine Service, they do music and promote music. Amerime Media, they, they're similar to us, but they're different. Uh, and Riot TV, they do uh, streaming stuff, which is hilarious. Uh, Zarin67, and then newly added is G Nuts of Horror. So if you're into horror, definitely check them out because they do reviews for stuff for them. So that's where you're gonna do your get your horror stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share us. You know, with your friends, your family, your dogs, you know, your pets, whatever. Let's talk. Let's keep talking about this stuff. You yeah, know, get is... get uh yes. Yeah, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're more than halfway there, so that we can cover more stuff for you and and like i said like us on on facebook and and help us out you know we really appreciate it we love it thank you for getting uh where we where you've gotten us to now on 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 everything we're 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 on everything we're on x we're on the threads we're on instagram we're on facebook we're on youtube of course so talk nerdy to me stay nerdy planet earth